In today's quick Thursday tip, we're gonna talk about Power Apps versions. We're talk about how to restore those versions, how they work, talk about kind of some of the you know challenges of working with them sometimes, and just kind of walk you through that whole version interface. So nothing too complicated, but just some good base knowledge to make sure we all got. Should be fun, should be fast. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys, and today, we're going to talk about Power Apps versions. And the idea here is I just wanted to make sure that you understood, you know, how to use your versions properly. So what it means if you have them published, how to restore them, how to get rid of them, just making sure you kind of understand all those pieces. Also, there's a six month limit on how long you can go back. So we'll just cover all those things. Should be a quick little video. So let's just switch over to my video, over to my video, over to my desktop, and let's get started. Here we are at make.powerapps.com. And so what I want to go to here is I'm going to go to apps. And then once this loads up, you can see all my apps. Yay, we build lots of apps around here. And I thought we'd just go down here and pick on this one because it's one, one that's got a little bit of history for me. So with any of your apps, if you click on the ellipses here, lots of things here. If there's any of these other ones you want to see me talk about, you probably should leave a comment and tell me, but you know, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to details. So here in details, you're gonna see we've got a lot of stuff. We're not covering any of the other pieces today, but we wanna just go straight to versions. So the idea of versions here is that every time that you save your Power App, Power App saves a version, so you can roll back or restore old versions. Now keep in mind that with all that saving and things going on, you can see right here that version 27 for me is the live version, right? That is the published version. So if a user opens up the app directly, that's the version they're gonna get, even though I'm working currently on version 28. So that's always important to remember. You'll also notice over here you see the Power Apps release. So for the most part, you can ignore this number, but the real key thing here to notice is that as I've went over time, you know, so it's at 3.21, blah, blah, blah. Like when they first started, I was at 3.20, blah, blah, blah. So the versions are increment, right? This is the rolling out of Power Apps. Power Apps changes, I don't know, it feels like every day. It's probably not quite that often, but it feels that way. So you're always gonna see different versions. But what's important to realize is that right now with version 27 being published, this is the version of Power Apps that is currently in production for me. Even though, you know, if we edit this thing, we'd see that we're probably on even later than the numbers you see here. So sometimes when you see blog posts about new performance enhancements in Power Apps or new functions, new controls, remember that you don't take advantage of any of that new functionality, um, you know, until you go and edit your app and republish it. So that's all very important. But you know, we'll see here, like if we go in, let's just go edit this app real quick. So we'll hit edit, and after what seemed like a million years, it finally loaded. And so all I'm gonna do is go down here, you can see I use my little version marker, so it currently says V7. We're just gonna change this to V8. And now if we say file and save, this is gonna save our new version. Now you didn't maybe notice there, there was comments, I probably should have shown you there. So let's just make version nine, so we can see the comments. So V9, there we go, we changed that. And so we'll say file, I'll go slower this time. And notice that with your versions, you can leave a note or a comment, right? So made V9 for video, like that. Anyway, so we're gonna save this, okay? So this is saving the version, because what I want you to see now is if I go back over to our main Power Apps, we're currently done editing. If we refresh this page, remember we're version 27, I was editing version 28, what are we gonna see now? So now we see version 29, right? So we went ahead, it increment, right? Version 28 was um, the one I saved the first, and then we made the other change, and you can see over here we have our version note. But my users still see the old version, right? They're still out here. So that's how that whole publishing stuff works. Now, if we say, oh, you know what? I really don't like that I rolled in. I don't know what changes I've made here. So if I wanna recover, what I can do is hit the little ellipses here, and I can say restore. And when you do this, it's gonna say, hey, this will be saved as version 30. This is important to understand, right? It's not gonna just delete all the old stuff. It doesn't bring this one to the front. If we say restore, oh, it won't restore, right? Why? Because I currently have the app locked. So this is a common thing that will drive you bonkers. So what do I need to do? I need to go over here and close the app. So if anyone has it open, right, you can't put in a new edited version while it's locked like that. So whether it's you or one of your teammates, but so let's try again. So we'll say restore again, restore again. And so there you go, restore has succeeded. And so version 27, still the published version. Version 30 though, is our version, right? That's where we just restored. 
And so now let's go edit this one again. Oh, let's uncheck that. I'll say edit. So it drops us back in. You can see that it's back to version seven, right? V7 down here. Remember, this is just text. This is not actually a version anything. This is my little text. Um, but there we go. I'm like, all right, well, then we're gonna go to version eight now, which is weird, right? This is probably my little manual method for version numbers. We'll say file and let's say restored and edited and republished. Ooh, so many notes. So we'll say save. So this is gonna push all that out there. And so then now if we go back to Power Apps and we refresh this, we should see look at that. So version 31. Now what's interesting here is remember, this one was version 27, 321, 023, 28. This one's 321, 03, 427. Because that is the current version of Power Apps. So I revved Power Apps, but now if I want my users to see that, then what are we gonna have to finally do is we gotta go out and publish this version, right? push this one out to the masses, and then my people would see it. But so that's how versions work, right? It was we were just had this ability to kind of go back here and grab old ones, and it was, in this case, we grabbed the published one, but I could roll back here pretty far. Now, this up here, this is, message was not always here, but remember, you can only restore apps that were created in the last six months. So if you wanted to roll back to this one from June 6th, when I first forked this one off from its original parent, you couldn't, right? You can only roll back six months worth. So this is another mental note for you. If you're ever working with your Power Apps and you're like, hey, I wanna be able to go back in points in time, but if you don't edit that app for a year, if you come in here, you'll have the current publish, everything will be there, but it'll, it'll be a year and you couldn't roll back to that one. So the very first thing you would do is you'd wanna save and publish it, right? Or not save and publish it. You'd want to open it up and save it so you'd create a new baseline exactly where you were so that if you needed to roll back, because you can't roll back all the way six months or a year ago, you only roll back to, up to six months, so you'd want to have that kind of sitting there for yourself. So version management, you know, and those grander schemes, you want to have a little bit of a thought there. Microsoft used to tell us to make sure that we opened, edited, you know, saved and published, republished your apps every six months. I have not seen that guidance written anywhere in a while. I'm not saying it's not out there, but just keep that in mind is because you want to be on the latest bits and builds so you can get all the performance enhancements, you know, uh, jumping your versions, especially your older apps, you know, once every few months is probably a pretty ideal. I wouldn't do it exactly at six months though because rolling back would be hard. So maybe do it every five months. Um, other things that we can do with versions, if we hit the ellipses here, if you're like, yeah, that version 28 was really bad. I hope no one ever sees it, right? We can just delete this out. And so then now it is not there. Um, but keep in mind that it did just kind of renumber everything for us. So, you know, it's not like you see a gap. So you wouldn't even know I deleted that version. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that is that. That's really it. Restore or delete. And if we go to one of these old ones, you know, you can delete those versions, but you can't restore them, which is probably, I guess, deleting them wouldn't hurt anything because they don't do anything for you. So anyway, so that's my quick little chat today on versions and restoring and all of that. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. If there's other features inside the interface here that you wish I would go through, like these, you know, maybe exporting. Well, I've done a video on exporting, you know, or sharing. Yeah, I've done a lot of those videos. But if there's something else here I haven't covered before, yell at me. Happy to do it. Um, yeah, I think with that, I'm just going to say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.